This is the video that captured the hearts of Iranians and the world at large. Look carefully and you'll notice that the aircraft is being guided to an astonishingly safe landing in spite of the front landing gear failing to deploy. Captain Hushang Shabazi, who piloted that very Iran Air 727 to safety, has flown to Geneva to speak with a human rights panel on a ticking time bomb. Unfortunately, sanctions imposed by the Western countries on civilian airlines in Iran have caused a considerable number of plane crashes and have led to the deaths of hundreds of passengers, which, according to the aviation statistics, is above the average death toll from such unfortunate accidents in the world. The sanctions have resulted in technical failures over the last decade due to the dilapidated parts in the aircraft. Every time a plane goes up in the air, the captain says he is often only able to relax upon safe landing. But the sanction is a lot more grave than it sounds, and here's why. Imagine for a moment that you need new brake pads for your car because the ones you do have are about to fail, and every shop you go to refuses to sell them to you. Now add to that the image of the brake pads actually failing, and the family in the backseat suffering the consequences. It's then you begin to understand the fear of pilots and the severity of the sanctions that blocks the sale of vital aircraft parts from Western countries to Iran. So why the Human Rights Council? The captain says it's simple. The sanction violates the UN declaration to the right of life of not just him, but passengers. According to Article 2 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, Everyone is entitled to all the rights and freedoms set forth in the Declaration without distinction of any kind. Furthermore, no distinction shall be made on the distinction of political, jurisdictional or international status of the country or territory to which a person belongs. Some progress has been made, however, as talks with the Ukraine have yielded positive results, and the captain hopes the petition he has started, already garnering over 100,000 signatures, will reach the ear of U.S. President Barack Obama, who the captain believes continues to follow the status quo. For now, anxiety grows and apprehension pervades as each day at the landing strip or even in the air, there is knowledge that a large-scale tragedy may be nearing its future fulfillment. And no captain with any amount of skill may be able to do this and live to tell the tale. Fabian Peer, Press TV, Geneva.